I'm Katie. Welcome to the Heart of the Valley YMCA Science Y. Today we're going to explore geometry and architecture concepts to build bridges with toothpicks and marshmallows. Architects go to school for a long time to learn to design buildings properly. We're going to learn one important thing about buildings right now, and it involves shapes, especially this special shape right here. Notice that the triangle, if I try to bend it out of shape, it will stay a triangle, unless I snap the sides, of course. But if the sides and the corners remain intact, it won't change its shape. It can't. A square, on the other hand, it isn't so stable. It folds. You see that? It folds into a different shape called a rhombus, which is kind of a funny word, but it really means one of these like sideways squares. Which shape do you think that architects prefer? Triangles or squares? If you guess triangles, you would be right. Okay, let's get started. You'll need marshmallows and toothpicks. Open up your kits and get those things out. Leave the marshmallows in their little bag for now. First, we're gonna make a bridge using squares. Start by making a line of squares. So take four marshmallows and push them together with the toothpicks to make a square like what you see here. Then take two more marshmallows and a few more toothpicks and extend the chain with another set of squares. And elongate that chain until it's four marshmallows long. It should look like this. Then just set it in front of you and wait for the next step. And next we're gonna make these squares into cubes. And a cube is just a 3D square. You probably already know that, but you know, you think about an ice cube being a cube, not a square exactly. So take toothpicks and stick them straight up in the air like this. Stick marshmallows on top and then connect the sides to make cubes. Finish the entire bridge that way. Here, I'll show that one more time. But when you finish, just set it down gently. It's a little fragile right now. So, and if it falls apart, just let it be for now. Probably you've noticed that the structure is slowly sinking and shifting. See, if I hold mine between my hands, like a bridge right now, it's slowly sinking downward. That's because the squares are slowly changing their shapes. They're shifting into rhombuses. And we don't want that in a bridge. Architects build bridges so that they stay up and support themselves. They don't want them to slowly sink. So what could we do to support the structures? Well, we could turn all of our squares into triangles. And we don't even have to take our bridge apart to do that. Just start with the sides of the bridge, grab a toothpick, and at every square, add one more toothpick, crisscrossing the middle, and make it into two triangles. Do this along both sides of your bridge. So if you pick up your bridge and hold it between your hands like I'm doing here, you'll find that it's definitely more stable than it was before. But I'm still seeing some squashiness and some flex where we have squares. So to finish up, let's make this as sturdy as we can. Find every four-sided shape and add a toothpick to make it into triangles. Some of the squares may be warped. That's okay. Go ahead and add a toothpick to the shapes anyway and turn them into triangles. As you do that, you should feel the structure become sturdier as you continue. When you're done, you'll be able to hold the structure between your palms like a bridge, and probably it won't sink down. Next time you're outside, look around at buildings and especially bridges. See if you can spot all the ways that triangles are used in the designs. And that's it for this video, but there's more. Check out our website at scienceway.org or email us at scienceway at ymcahuntsville.org.